Hello and welcome to the 145 Rural Podcast, where we are here to strengthen music careers and communities one song at a time. And now here's your host, Jacob Wing. Yay! Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode and you won't believe it, but next to me again is Mr. Tommy Williams. Thank you again. Drove down from Kalispell. It is no short drive, so thank you so much. Thank you for having me back. I always love coming down here and getting to hang out with you and check out the awesome scenery you guys got down here. We are very blessed. A little bit different from up north. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, but they both have their their great parts about it. Yeah, they do. Especially the lake up there. We're always jealous. Oh, yeah. I love your guys's. You know, you got the mountains and a little bit of rolling hills. We're we're just kind of trapped in. So. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. But I was so excited to get you on just because it was almost six months to the day when we're recording this that we had you on your first interview. And with my first interviews that we have people on, you know, we go deep into who you are, how you became you are, your influences in music. Today, we don't want to talk about any of that crap. But we get to talk about you and how far you've come in just six months. And I was really impressed with what you've been doing and the things that you can almost watch you like overcoming these hurdles that every one of us hits at some point. So it's great to have you on and we'll just get into that if you, if it's okay with you. Yeah. Of course. Um, since we last saw you, I believe you had two singles that have dropped. Yep. Uh, Mustang, uh, which was kind of my, my shot at doing something a little more, uh, honky tonky, um, kind of a mix of like Americana honky tonky. And you know, that's, that's really kind of the, the direction I, I like to go with kind of the band setup. Um, right. And then Villain, uh, which was a super important song to me um, and kind of just says a lot about me as a person. And uh, I think people can kind of relate to that song and uh, the the message I was trying to put out there. And it's uh, it helped me a lot and it's, it's given me a little bit of growth and um, I'm very thankful for that. Oh, I know when I first heard it, I just ran to my wife. I was like, yeah, to listen to this. I had it on repeat for a couple of days nonstop. Thank you. It's thank so you. good. Uh, is there, what's behind the story? Just a little bit of behind the scenes. Like what, yeah. what was the the fuel behind that great song? So uh, Villain, you know, it was a lot of it just kind of talking about my struggles uh, growing up. My, my mom passed away uh, when I was 12 and uh, shortly before my 13th birthday, and, you know, I, I was kind of like a numb kid just uh, trying to run around. I, I grew up fast when I was young. So uh, there was really no like stopping and thinking about it. It was keep going, keep going. And then uh, as I got a little bit older, you know, got close to the graduating and you think about, oh, what am I going to do with my life? Everything kind of just hit like a Mack truck, yeah, like you know, I and imagine. Uh, emotions. And, you know, for the first time really thinking, oh, like, guys do have feelings you know right it's okay it's okay <laughs> right yeah and, yeah uh, so that music and uh this song especially uh uh villain they were just kind of my my way of healing um and i think a big misconception a lot of people have is a uh, uh you can write a song or you can listen to a song and it's gonna change everything you feel and uh uh, just because you're a songwriter or a, or a listener that mm-hmm, it's going to mm-hmm. make you better. It's it's not. It it helps you reveal and overcome those things, I believe. Exactly. Um, it doesn't change that past, but it puts it in a perspective. It's for me, at least sometimes, you know, it's the exact same idea. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't make it better. It just helps you understand and cope a little better and maybe helps people understand around you, like why you, you are the way you are kind of thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, I think I think that's definitely uh, one of my favorite songs that I've written and uh, meant a lot to me. And it, uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very thankful that I was able to write that song oh, at so three good. in the morning one morning. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's so good. And of course, Thank like you. everything before, anytime links are below. Please take take a second, go listen to that song specifically. The numbers on it, are, the streaming numbers are wonderful. People are clearly really liking it. So you Thank did something you. that touched everybody. Thank you. No, yeah. great work there. Uh, what about live shows? Have you been doing any live shows since you were last on? Yeah, I've done I've done a few. Uh, I've been doing a lot of recording, um, working on an album, getting all that done. Um, but I've, I've done a few little shows. Uh, I did one with my buddy Joe Martinez. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Um, He's an amazing musician. Go check him out. Oh, definitely. Um, we're hoping we're going to get him sometime sooner and later. Yeah. He's great. Joe Joe's amazing. Uh, 
he is actually the one that played guitar on Mustang and Villain. Oh, for me. it's that's so um, good. That explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's he's amazing. He he really knows how to capture uh, emotion through a guitar. And uh, we he he and I uh, he had a show up in Whitefish at a Slowburn Records, and uh, we kind of split a gig there. He asked if I wanted to, and had a great time doing that. And uh, uh, played another show at Slowburn on my own, and then. Uh, this past week, uh, I opened for a band called Hot Damn. How'd that um, go? Oh, it was awesome. Hot cool. Damn, they're they're a great band. Um, they don't play out as much as I wish they would. Um, <laughs> they're fantastic. But my my friend uh, Vinny, he's he's the drummer for them. He's also the drummer of Twenty Grand and a handful of other bands. Yeah, up in the White typical Montana right? musician. Yeah, if you're talented, yeah, you're five or six groups. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and uh, Vinny Vinny reached out and. Uh, I ended up having another uh, buddy that plays guitar for them, and uh, they were just amazing people. Um, it was a great experience to play at the Northern, and you know, uh, a lot more people that uh, kind of are there to hear the music. You know, they're there to have their beers, but they're kind of there to have fun and party and hear the music. And that's something that uh, Jaden Decker touched on. Yeah, when he yeah. was on your podcast last time. Was you know, it can be hard to play some of those gigs where nobody cares or nobody's really there yeah you're more audience than a musician Um, yeah yeah so it was really nice to kind of get one of those gigs after not having something like that for a little bit right uh, and i I guarantee if the way you're going there's gonna be more of those where that as he was saying Jaden was talking about that that switch that flips from yeah i'm not the background anymore you came to see me i see that in your future well thank you of course i i don't i'm nostradamus but definitely doing all the work it's really cool to watch uh so with all the live shows and, and like you said, it sounded like you were putting a record together. So that's extremely exciting, especially with, oh man, I love your music. Can't Thank wait you. to hear the album. Thank you. But part of being a musician and doing this, you know, especially when you're really taking it serious, uh, it feels like you run into these walls and these just, I don't know if I can do it. I'm not seeing the progress I want to see, you know, all those kind of things. Have you had anything like that happen yet or where you're, you're hitting those walls at all? Definitely. Um, I am one of the best people you'll ever meet at putting on a face and acting positive and uh, going out in front of people and smiling and shaking hands and, you know, trying not to be negative. I'm very good at that. But uh, it also means by the time I get home and by the time I have the extra time for these projects done with work, you know, I got a full time job. Um, it can be, you know, your your social limit can be drained a little yeah, bit. Your battery's just gone. And, uh, yeah, it can be mm-hmm. it can be extremely difficult sometimes. But uh and I've talked with you a lot about this overall and uh, I've talked with other people that I consider my friends that I've made in music. Um, and, you know, it's just... Sorry, I'm kind of getting off track. Oh, no, but, no, uh, no, 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 you're fine. <laughs> some of the hurdles I've kind of gone over is, you know, uh, self-confidence is, I think, probably one of the biggest that every musician will go through. You know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that'll tell you they're the greatest thing since sliced bread, but mm-hmm. when they go home at the end of the day, you know, they they don't always feel that way or think that way. Um, right. You know, you kind of have to sell yourself as a musician um, or as any type of artist. No, and true. So true. So it can be, it can be hard to do that sometimes. And uh, it can be hard when you're your own critic and working on a lot of your own music and kind of producing and writing your own music to remember like, Hey, this is the direction I want to go or, or not. Um, Cause you don't necessarily have those people around you telling you hey this is what you're gonna do right or we like this it's kind of yeah giving you that feedback loop right yeah yeah, it's uh so it can be a struggle sometimes but i'm i'm definitely uh thankful for that struggle too because uh it just means i'm human you know right Um, exactly without that struggle i don't know if that would mean that i'm growing at all exactly yeah you just don't know if it, it would mean as much as you start to hit these plateaus you start to get these the rewards and the reaping what you've actually sown but maybe it wouldn't feel as good without right. the struggles, but still, it's tough. Yeah. And it's funny because right before this episode, or I believe two before this one, we just did a whole episode on imposter syndrome and that feel that exact feeling of, you know, I'm drained. I don't know if I can do this. It's and you, you go home at night and you're just telling yourself, I'm not good enough. Why? And then for whatever reason, sometimes yeah. we can overcome that. I don't, I don't know how many times I've been laying in bed at two in the morning and I've gone, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, no more of this. <laughs> you know, but I also just have to tell myself, like, I'm I'm 21 years old. Um, I started doing this seriously about a year and a half ago. Right. Um, like, if 
if I'm at the point that I'm at, um, just by putting a few things out there and, you know, slowly starting to build on learning how to promote myself and other things, you know, who knows where I could go with it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it's just the more consistent you are and time is your friend, the perfect age for this. I mean, you can do this at any point in your life. That's the truth. But at your age, that that time of life is so perfect where you get to a little bit of time to experiment, fill out who you are, especially with you. You've been doing so great about just testing the waters here and there with your music and finding, you know, a little bit more of who you are and defining a little bit more of what your sound is. And you can really start to see this thing grow organically. Yeah, thank you. That's a that's that's something I I have told myself that I want to uh, take serious is not not falling into one category or doing one thing because I have I have influences all over the board. You know, we talked about that last time I was on here and uh, I want to be able to take whatever I can from those different things, you know, like, oh, this song feels bluesy. Let me find a blues guitar player or oh, this song feels more ambient. Let me find an organ player. Right. You know, um, let me find somebody that can play some cello or you know, something like that and uh, work that in there. And I'm I'm really trying not to restrict myself with one type of so thing. So smart. Uh, kind of my music's a little bit all over the board, but uh, I think trying to uh, write and keep the, the lyrics and uh, the vibe of the music all kind of together. Mm-hmm. But uh, musically, I kind of I want to I want to keep that wide that wide. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> um, that spectrum of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah that wide spectrum. Um, I, I like that. Hi there, and welcome to the ad break. We're just going to take a moment to let everybody know about our community of growing members. And if you'd like to be a part of that, just look at the info below and there will be a click there for an email sign up to join in and get your voice heard. As well, if you're enjoying this content, please join our Patreon at patreon.com slash the numbers 145 world. There you can join any of our groups and you can add to the discussion of what topics we will choose that will help you and hopefully future members of our groups, as well as join monthly Q&As and other such benefits. Again, that's patreon.com slash the numbers 145 rural, and we look forward to seeing you there. Now, back to that regularly scheduled episode and enjoy that content. Thanks again. Yeah. Have you found it all? That might not be true, but as you've been doing this, like you said, you're finding all these people to that work great in certain situations for certain styles. Uh, have you found that like you're getting a bigger network of people around you? And Definitely. I'm definitely uh, growing and uh, meeting new people and uh, finding more opportunities and uh, making more friends. And it, it definitely helps, you know, like Sometimes, you know, you you go and jam with somebody when you've kind of been stuck in this writer's block or this this loop and you can't really get out of it. And then you go home and, you know, ideas click. Yeah, um, yeah. And the same thing can be for that person. And uh, learning how to grow and uh, promote yourself, but also grow and promote with your friends. Um, not because you have to or because anybody's owed anything, but because you want to. And because, you know, we're all... We're all doing this for a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's some guys out there that just want to play music. And uh, there's some people that, you know, want to play music for different reasons. But I think the majority of the people out there, um, it's about the music. And uh, I think it's it's pretty cool when you can find those those people that, that want to grow just because of the music, not because of an image or Could not anything. put it any better. Yeah, finding those real people that are expressing their soul. And you're like, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Maybe we can find a way to do it together. Or, yeah. you know. And like you said, that's a perfect example of where you go. And even if it's not something that's going to be a, a project or you're not going to work together like an open mic or a jam session, but you're throwing those ideas back and forth. And I can't think of a single time that I've personally done that and not walked away with, I have like four more ideas of right, what yeah. I want to do or yeah. what I want my sound to be because I don't want it to be that. I like that. Thing. Right, <laughs> right. That. It's like a buffet yeah. of... <laughs> yeah, you you know, you learn you learn and you see the good and the bad uh, from yourself and from other exactly, people. Exactly, yeah. Um, really exposes your weak parts. For yeah, the yeah. <laughs> and, uh, As there, I've learned. There's something about music where, uh, you, know, peop- you know, there's a lot of people out there that will tell you what you want to hear and not be very honest with you, but... 
there's a lot of people out there that uh that can give you kindness but also be pretty cutthroat and tell you like hey this sucks or yeah. this is great um hey why don't you work in this direction or you know and it, what other people say you don't have to do and uh you don't have to listen to it but i think it's it's good to take a little bit of everything from it everybody. is and finding people like that i to me is one of the greatest gifts that like, if they can there's people that will just tear you down you know how to cut those people out of your life but there's people like you said that can find a way to both build you up but also be those honest moments of hey i know you're capable of better or is this what you were going for because here's what i'm taking away man those people are worth their weight in gold yes they are yes they are uh, well i want to focus a little more at the end of this he's going to do a song for us so don't go anywhere please stay close don't go don't switch off <laughs> But uh, I want to talk about your album that's coming up here. I think it's the 31st of this month. Yes, sir. Yep. The 31st. So we're going to have links to all of that pre-saves, everything as soon as it comes out. And of course, when he puts it out, we'll have we we'll pushing that out there so you see it right in front of your face. But let's talk about that album before we get to the specific song that you're doing for us. Is there any, uh, you know, theme or, you know, if you can look forward at yourself, have that kind of premonition look forward to at, at what it was what's the overall arching like idea or feel that's going to come out of this this so, album so this album uh is really just music that i've kind of been writing from you know time i was 14 years old till now um and <clears throat> you know before i even knew how to play guitar or knew they were songs i used to just write kind of poetry and uh you know i was a i've always been a big bob dylan fan mm-hmm. um uh, the band and I, I love those deeper lyrics that really get into who you are as a human and uh, your emotions whether the story is true or not mm-hmm. um, there's something of of those guys in each one of those songs yeah, 100%. and uh, that's kind of what this album is for me I you know I call it my healing music uh, <laughs> this album is really just me getting out there uh, how I felt and kind of what I've went through and hopefully other people can relate to that and uh, feel those same things. So it's definitely a little bit emotional. Um, there's a little bit of folk, a little bit of blues, a little bit of Americana in there. Um, so good. But That's it's exciting. It's just me trying to stay genuine and stay true to my style and uh, who I think I am as a musician. Um, and kind of just me saying like, hey, I'm, I'm healing, I'm growing. It's mm-hmm. time to kind mm-hmm. of move on and see what else I can do. That's um, exciting. Because I got a lot more stuff that I'm ready to work on after this. That's so, so exciting. So are you going to be doing any time of like promotion out there playing shows? Any shows coming up? Uh, so I have a show this week on Thursday at the Sitting Duck in Big Four. Oh, I love that um, place. That's I, fantastic. I guess it's a great place. I This is going to be my first time there, but a lot of people love it there. Um, they got great drinks. Uh and it's One a heck of a view too oh. yeah a great view great place um so i'm excited to play there for the first time and uh get to know them and get to know the people at that venue and uh grow and meet new people and uh i i believe june 7th i have a show at Slowburn records and whitefish great little place uh it's five dollars a person byob if you want to bring your own drinks cool. and hang out and uh yeah um I'm, I'm excited to play those shows and I'll have more lined up. Uh, well, just so you know, I, I don't mean to step on you no. there, but I, I, you did send me your new website. You just got a website launched, so I'm pretty sure you'll have your dates there. Yep, yep. Anything beyond this that he's doing, promotion, playing live shows, just go to his website. Again, linked below. You can get all his dates. Don't yep. miss a show, you know. You, yep, my, my bio's there, uh, all dates. I'll have our interview on there as Perfect, soon as this yeah. comes out. Um, and then you can also just go there and click on my links and uh, find it wherever you oh, wherever you listen to your music. Be sure so. to check that out. And at one, it looks really great, man. The photography you've been doing, I don't know if you've been doing it or had somebody with you, but the last six, since we last did it, the photos you've had coming out for, you know, whatever your pictures you're doing or, you know, whatever it is, they've been fantastic. Yeah, that's a, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, we don't have to get too deep into it, but uh, Jake, Jake is a very important guy for me when it comes to music. Um, and just as a friend overall and he's he's meant a lot to me and helped push me uh during some of those moments like we were talking right. about yeah, we um, all do. <laughs> and that was one of the things you and i talked about last time i was here you were like man you need to you need to start getting some more promo shots and some more pictures and so uh i've had you know some friends taking pictures of me and uh some other random stuff and 
you know, so I'm, I'm trying to build that. Yeah, that you're portfolio. nailing it. If, you, uh, <laughs> if you're just starting out, if you just caught this and you're in the same boat, just go to his website. There's some great examples of just how to capture those moments. Uh, it reflects his music, which is what you need to do. It's, it's a skill. But if you can kind of get that idea of, wait, hear his music, see those images, it's just perfect correlation between the two. Thank you. Nice Thank work you. on that. So just before we move on, I want to move on to the song you're going to play for us. Yeah. Uh, can you maybe give us a backstory of that if you're comfortable with it? Tell us the, the story behind the song before we get to hear it. Yeah. So this song, uh, it's called Fallen. And uh, it's it's sort of, you know, along the same lines of Villain and uh, the rest of the songs that are going to be on the album. You know, it's it's a lot of healing music. And it's it's kind of just about, you know, when when you're down some days, some weeks drag on, uh, they're hard. Um and sometimes we we need to open our eyes and see that okay help help is okay to have uh so um it's kind of just about some people around me some really important people um that have kind of helped pick me up and uh helped me keep going um cuz that's something that i find really hard sometimes to let other people be there for oh, you especially like you said before as a man it's really hard just yeah to have that. Ex- there's a whole masculinity thing you're not supposed yeah. to talk about that you're not supposed to reach out but it, that needs to go away yeah so, some, it's okay sometimes it's uh it feels like it's us against the world right. but then like like you were just saying you got to remember uh especially as somebody that likes to make music and uh, write honest stuff i have to be honest about who i am the struggles i go through otherwise it's not as genuine um i I don't like talking or getting to know people that aren't genuine with <laughs> right. me. So why would somebody want to listen to me? It's, if it's I'm, a thing. Yeah, exactly. If I have a facade what a great going thought. Yeah, you're exactly right. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. So just stay tuned. We're going to take a, a quick listen to that. We'll get all set up and do that. So again, everything is below. Check out the new website. See the dates he's playing shows. Pre-save anything that he's got. This new album coming out again on the 31st of May here. And. Uh, Thank you again for your time. Thanks for, Thanks for driving me. down. And again, I know at some point we're going to happen again. It's just going to happen. So till the next one. Thanks again. Thank and we'll you. see you guys yeah. in the next one. Enjoy the see enjoy the song. Bye.
beautiful brown eyes Smoke in the air Trying to keep me up from down With your own brand of flair Thank you so much I know that you care Sometimes I fall apart My soul broke beyond repair Yeah.